we want to test the motherboard first to make sure the motherboard itself is functioning as it should. So what I'm going to do now is safely I can power on the system with the leads extended and we can see if we get a green go light on the motherboard without any drives plugged in. Okay, we're good to go. We know that's set. You can also test the e-stop. Everything there works perfect. So we know the board itself is good. Now what we got to figure out, and you can see I've got tape on my drives. Now you don't see tape on this drive because I've already identified it as bad. What I use the tape for is an identifier so that I know I'm not going to chase my tail after a drive has been checked. So if I want to test this unit and I want to test an axis, now all I have to do is unscrew a drive, plug it into the board. I'm going to do this very briefly. You don't have to plug it all the way in, you just want to make sure your contacts are in and you can see I got a slight gap there. We don't care about that because again, we're on a rubber pad right here. My, my uh, uh, work desk is always going to be insulated in my instance. I hope yours are as well. You want to make sure there is no conductive material underneath when you're testing. And now what we're going to do is cycle on the system once again and we're going to test this drive. If we get a green go light, we know we're good. If we don't, then we know that drive is bad.